Hi, Assalamualaikum. I'm Sophia Rosis. So, this video is going to be my first video, f my first YouTube video for 2021. So, for today, I'm just going to share a little bit about my SPM journey. There's nothing much. It's actually just, I'm just going to share how I improve my, my result from 5G to 7A. By the way, I'm not a straight A student. And... I'm so sorry if I mix Malay and English because sometimes I feel comfortable with English but there's some words that I can't I can't process in English so I'm just gonna say it in Malay so I'm just gonna mix Malay and English I hope you guys are okay with it so yeah let's get into it okay so first of all I'm not a straight A student and I study at SMK Agama so basically I took 11 subjects including Pendidikan Quran Sunnah Pendidikan Syariah Islam and Bahasa Arab Tinggi and I'm a Sunstream student so that means I take um, physics, chemistry, and math and biology okay so um, everything start after PT3 so Alhamdulillah I got 11A for PT3 and then um, when I was from 4 um, Sofia dimasukkan dalam class like for Sunstream we got 5 class and Sofia dimasukkan dalam class the first class so basically we don't have um, streaming sebab uh, masa form 3 tu bash Sofia ada 99 90 lebih yang dapat straight A so basically tak ada streaming sangat lah so for 3 class ni sama je like they randomly put us in that 3 class first 3 class okay and then when I was form 4 Sofia macam um like I didn't take study seriously I, I didn't take the results seriously so so very much on my mind and I'm so active in curriculum myself what to form for and I barely attend class like kalau datang sekolah mesti pergi latihan pertandingan ni and sometimes I join a video competition so I barely be in class and yeah so long story short um, I got the worst result when I was form 4 that is 5G. I never get that kind of result. Okay, so I ingat yang Sofia dapat G waktu tu. PQS. PQS, main kekauan sunah, Sofia dapat G. At math, of course. Uh, chemistry, biology, and physics. All that science subject. Science subject, Sofia dapat G. Okay, but on that time, I'm, I didn't feel anything because I know I don't study at all. And so, masa waktu tu, Sofia dapat number yang ke-200 lebih dalam batch. Like, our batch got 200 something i do remember but i got number yang ke 200 lebih and that's the worst result that i ever get in my life okay and then um what the form five uh class at the streaming class so yang dapat result bagus dapat masuk ya ke class nombor satu nombor dua nombor tiga like we got five class right so what to do i'm shocked tak adalah shock sangat but actually i already predict that uh, i'm gonna get class yang paling last for science stream so but my result is still bad but the sad part is i don't have i don't have friends in that class so if you had a jika one young adilam class too but i mean close friend that i feel comfortable with so more on another class too someone like not familiar with me and i am um i am not easy to feel comfortable with other people so the first day masuk class too i cried but I didn't cry in front of others like I cried alone because I'm so sad that I don't have friends in that class and I don't know how I'm going to, I'm going I'm going to survive from five without my friends like my friends in my class number two number two number number three for me in the fifth class but it turns out to be the best class that I ever attend like I didn't expect it to be that good like for now I really love that class and I didn't regret it at all because the way we work together to improve our result is so amazing i really love it okay and then when i was from five um i i i still not take study seriously like masa about to first exam tov so i to study like few days before exam lepas tu waktu oti satu so i pun tak serious juga i still study like few days before spm sampai lah uh, like few months before percubaan SPM I start I start to study hard Silat Sofia bulan 6 2000 
18 Pulak dengan 18 18 Sofia macam Mula uh, Rasa Keinsafan tu Sofia mula rasa Nak study sungguh-sungguh And I target I target for 11 A's For SPM Waktu tu okay, Sebab uh, Oh ya yeah. Sebab TOV Sofia Tak silap Sofia dapat 4 A 5 A macam tu Like My result always maintain 4 A and 5 A And I didn't want that I I want 11 A's So Bulan 6 tu Sofia start to sungguh-sungguh And this is how I start. Um, Sofia start dengan buat jadual. If I'm not mistaken, uh, my trial SPM is on September. And uh, I start study seriously on June. So that's when I got like roughly 3 months before trial SPM. So what to do? Target Sofia. So I nak habiskan semua syllabus in 3 months for at math, chemistry, math, at math, chemistry, physics and biology. Because... Uh, tiga subjek ni yang Sofia paling lemah dan Sofia memang tak pernah study serious for all of his four subjects. Kalau Sofia study pun Sofia study berdasarkan peruncingan yang dapat before exam. That's all. Like I never study seriously for all of his four subjects. So, 3 months before SPM, I target to finish all the syllabus from form 4 and form 5 for each subject. So, how I start? I start with at math. Untuk bulan 6, I focus only for at math because I know how hard at math is and I know how how bad I am in at math. Sebab Sofia selalu fail at math. Okay, so Sofia target at least lulus for trial for at math. So what I did is I make a schedule, jadual, timetable. Uh, Sofia buat jadual. Untuk bulan 6, Sofia nak study at math. Untuk bulan 7 and bulan 8, I combine chemistry chemistry, physics and biology like first uh, awal bulan 7 Sofia study chemistry pertengahan bulan 7 Sofia start study um, biology sampailah pertengahan bulan 8 ok, bulan 8 pertengahan bulan 8 sampai akhir bulan 8 Sofia study physics so Sofia buat jadual macam tu untuk bulan 6 untuk AMAT Sofia buat Sofia target 2 hari Sofia kena habiskan satu topik Sofia cuba buat jadual Sofia lakarkan Sofia tengok sempat ataupun tak Kalau sempat Sofia buat macam tu Kalau tak sempat Sofia akan pendekkan lagi Singkatkan lagi masa tu And What I did is uh, Sofia beli buku tr- um, Trial Bukan trial Buku koleksi, koleksi Soalan SPM Yang topical For semua subjek Semua subjek uh, Science stream tu uh, Then Sofia buatlah latihan Satu hari Sofia habiskan uh, satu, satu topik macam at math tu If I can habiskan satu topik In one day I will try my best to finish it Macam tu uh, And same things goes on with other subject tu Sampai lah Sofia Sofia usaha-usaha And then Sofia At the same time Sofia hafal Quran juga Sebab apa yang Sofia percaya Bila kita hafal Quran uh, Otak kita kerja lagi tajam Like uh, We can easily remember things So that's what I did also And Alhamdulillah Masa trial tu Uh, I'm so satisfied with my result Sebab um, at math Sofia dapat C plus tak silap Sofia Ataupun C antara dua tu um, Untuk chemistry Sofia dapat B um, Fizik Sofia dapat 59 Sofia ingat sebab Sofia sedih Sebab Sofia tak dapat B Sofia target B And untuk bio Sofia dapat 57 macam tu kot uh, Lepas tu And then uh, what I did uh, se- Sementara like the gap bef- after The gap Between trial dengan SPM uh, Sofia buat buku Sofia buat latihan pasir juga Tapi yang yearly Sebab yang topical Sofia dah siapkan semua sebelum trial So after trial Sofia focus on yearly exercise And then yeah That's how I did It's actually just a short story And I don't know what else I want to share I think that's all And yep That's how I did from 5G to 7A so basically a lot of hard work Sofia bukan straight A student Sofia bukan, bukan, bukan budak pandai I'm not gifted I need to study hard to get the good result uh, oh by the way my SPM result is 7A and 4B 3B plus and 1B B to chemistry because Sofia ingat like I'm not uh, I feel so down for chemistry plus dengan um, my teacher um, dia ambil Allah like masa trial tu Cikgu kimia kita orang meninggal dunia um, So yeah, I was like quite down masa tu Sofia pun tak study eh. chemistry But Alhamdulillah, I still managed to get B And I'm so grateful for my SPM result 
maybe for some of you, 7A is like tak banyak, mungkin sikit. But for me, I'm really grateful for it. And because of that result, I am where I am now. Alhamdulillah. So, I think that's all. Sorry for talking too much. Um, and if you have anything to ask, don't hesitate to comment down below. And yep, uh, I'm looking forward to make a video for how I improve my ad math marks from G to A. So, if you guys interested to know about that, please let me know. Okay, kalau ramai yang nak, baru Sofie buat untuk ad math. My advice to all SPM candidates for this year or next year, I know it's hard. You're studying, like you're 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 going through online learning. It's not easy, I know, but don't give up. Please work hard. Your work hard will be paid off one day. If you think that it's too late for you to start studying now, no, it's never too late. Tak pernah pun terlambat untuk kita start buat sesuatu. So just start now. Get up from your bed and go to your study table and start studying right now and you really need to plan what you want to study because if you fail to plan you are f you are planning to fail okay so don't give up you can do this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like it um, and yeah I'm looking forward to do more video after this and uh, if you have any idea on what video should I do next just comment down below thank you bye bye